Scribbles presents A Visit to Beautiful Port Dover Recently, my sister Kim and I took a trip to Port Dover, Ontario on Lake Erie. Mr. Sock made a cameo appearance. Our first stop was McDermott's Farm in Pelham. They have beautiful flower arrangements, fresh fruits, there's some more, and I got some corn on the cob. About 90 minutes after we left home, we arrived in Port Dover. Our first stop was the Arbor Restaurant, world famous for fries and hot dogs. Mmm, so good. Then we walked over to the beach, and we like being in a tropical location. Yes, those are palm trees. They bring them in every summer. Wow! It was very windy on the beach that day, but no one seemed to complain about it. Look at those waves. Then we took a walk down the Port Dover Pier. Yeah, that one right there. There are many memorial benches along the pier and a fisherman's memorial statue dedicated to those who never made it back from sea. As you can see, it's a very long pier. Hello, Seagull. Goodbye, Seagull. No autographs, please. Hello, Mr. Sock on the pier. And there's the lighthouse. Now check out all the seagulls on the other pier. Woo! Do not drop a french fry, we will be bombarded. Oh, there's the back of Kim's head. And there's the beach. More waves, more people. And voila, the lighthouse again. Woo, the wind's almost knocking off my toupee. Hello again. When we were finished on the pier, we visited some of the many gift shops. Not surprisingly, there were a lot of nautical themed items. And there were a lot of other unique gift and souvenir items. We both like the Lakeside Savings Store. It's like a dollar store, only more. We enjoyed browsing through all the gift shops, but it was Liberty Home Decor and Gift Boutique where we decided to actually make some purchases. Diane had lots of great things to choose from, and some of the prices weren't that bad. After purchasing our souvenir items, it was time for one last visit to the beach before heading home. Oh my god, those seagulls again. They're everywhere. If you've never been there, put Port Dover on your bucket list. You won't be disappointed.